Meal prep, meal prep. Oh no. It's so great. No, no, please, please. It'll help you lose weight. <laughs> meal prep wrap. The other video, our Walmart video, you guys were encouraging her and her wrapping. This is what happens. Please stop encouraging her. She's gonna keep wrapping if you guys encourage her, so stop it. Meal prep, meal prep. It's so great. Help you lose weight. Have you ever actually seen a rapper? Cause they, I've never seen one do whatever it is you just did there. You know what my favorite line is from a rap song? Don't lick the rapper. <laughs> meal prep. We have to share this with the friends. Why? Because this pancake recipe that I'm going to share is one that literally saved our lives. When I was 275 pounds, Kyle was 375 pounds. We had a lot of weight to lose and we needed to love our food. And we found this pancake recipe and we modified it to our needs. And we want to share with you now because pancakes have always been a comfort food for us. And we actually ate this for breakfast and mostly dinner, like at least once a week. And it was so delicious, it kept us on track and it helped us lose our first 50 pounds in three months. And it was because we loved it and we could stick to it. And they're really hearty and tasty and you can top them with some really good stuff. And I'll also show you what we're gonna prep on the side. If you like this content and you wanna support us, please like, subscribe and share so that we can help more people. And don't forget, Check us out on Instagram and shake it till you bake it. Don't like the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna prep on the side. Turkey bacon. <laughs> oh, I thought it was upside down for a minute. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna have two slices on the side with our pancakes. Turkey or chicken bacon is really low in calories and lower in fat, so we're gonna have two slices each. You basically spray the frying pan Preheat it to medium heat, and it says on this one, five to six minutes for soft or seven to 15 for crispy. And on our weight loss journey, like Nicole was saying, we weren't giving up pancakes and bacon, so we just no. made a healthier version. And that was like one of my memories as a little girl, like my parents split up when I was really little. So on my weekends with my dad, the one thing I remember was making pancakes every weekend. So it's a, it's a very big comfort food for me and bacon. And yeah, we didn't want to give it up. So we found a better choice. Of course, you give yourself the real thing every once in a while, but this was a great substitute and we looked forward to it literally every week we had it for dinner. And let, let me know, are you a breakfast for breakfast or breakfast for dinner? We're a little of both. <laughs> First thing we need is half a cup of oats. I'm using quick value, quick value. <laughs> I'm using great value quick oats. We need half a cup of fat-free plain yogurt. This is the Greek fat-free plain. Half a cup of non-dairy milk. My favorite to use is the silk creamy cashew because it's the lowest in calories and it's actually really tasty. Then we need a tablespoon of light margarine. The recipe calls for oil, but we're using light margarine because it makes it lower calorie. Half a cup of egg whites, and the recipe actually calls for two whole eggs, but we're doing egg whites. Then we've got, this is Swerve brown sugar substitute. So it's like sugar-free brown sugar. Then half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. And we have a cup of flour here. This is all purpose flour. In the beginning, we used whole wheat because all purpose flour was kind of like a fear food. We were afraid if we used all purpose flour that we would gain our weight back that we had lost. So now we realize it's better to choose what you like. If you like the whole wheat, great, choose it. But there's not really much difference in calories. The whole wheat has a little more fat and a little more fiber, but other than that, they're pretty much the same calorie wise. So it's about choosing what you like so that you'll stick to your diet and you'll like what you're eating. And we're gonna start, oh, milk. We're gonna get the yogurt in there. One, two, 
hit it like a yogurt. I'm pretending to be like a rapper. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so we're gonna stir this all up just until, you know, pretty well combined. And then we'll add in the eggs, egg whites, I should say. Egg whites, margarina. Give it a little stir. This is like, you can prep this ahead of time because it makes, you know, a few servings, but we're eating it for dinner tonight because we're so excited and we haven't had it in years um, because it was at the beginning of our weight loss journey. So I'm like pretty pumped about this. And feel free to make a massive batch if you guys are gonna try this. Yeah, you can double, triple it. You can freeze the pancakes and just reheat them in the microwave or a toaster oven. So I'm just breaking up the swerve and then I'm gonna dump all those in there. Give it a little stirry rooney. And then I'm gonna add the flour. Surprise you got a big bowl today. Usually you have way too small of a bowl and you end up spilling it over the sides. I'm gonna put the flour in. Sass, by the way, loves when I use small bowls for cooking. Like normally I use like this size. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna stir this up until the batter, everything's combined and the batter is battery. <laughs> Don't you want to use the uh, whatever this thing is? The whisk? Yeah. I thought about it, but I'm on a roll with the spoon. Okay, so everything is combined. I'm going to preheat a large frying pan. I'm gonna, on medium high heat, and I'm gonna do cooking spray in the pan, no oil, because that adds way extra calories. Cooking spray adds a few, so you just do some quick sprays. And I'm gonna scoop the batter by quarter cups about two to three minutes for the first side when it bubbles we're gonna flip it and cook it for another minute till golden okay i'm getting some toppings ready while the pans are heating for toppings we always liked unsweetened applesauce and they were out of the big jars so that's why i'm using one of these we did one to two tablespoons and tonight i think we're gonna do the same but one to two tablespoons for topping we used to use regular peanut butter when we first started. Tonight we're gonna use PB2 because we're having real peanut butter in our snack later. So to cut down on calories, we're gonna use the PB2. Or PB and me, whatever. Oh. It's fine. It's all PB2 to me. <laughs> Powdered peanut Powdered butter. Powdered peanut butter. So I'm gonna put two scoops in each bowl and then I'm just gonna stir in two tablespoons of water. And this, by scoops, I mean tablespoons. Let's check our pans. Let's check the pan. I cut off your wrapping on purpose. I was really sad that you did that. I think that the uh, bacon pan is ready. Yeah, sure. Let's put in one. Oh, no sizzle. You uh, messed up. I messed up. It's okay. The bacon will still be good. Two slices each. One, two for me and two for Sasser boy. There you go. And let's scoop these cakes on. So about like that. And then what I like to do once they scoop it on the pan is I just use the measuring cup to bink it out a bit so that you get a nice big pancake. Bink. Bink means flatten. Yeah, bink means flatten. They know, you know about binkage, don't you? Okay, so we're gonna let those cook up. You cut off my wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got the water in there and I'm just gonna stir these up. Let them sit so they can thicken a bit. And depending on how much water you add to this stuff, it can be thick or thin. So clearly I added more water to the other one. <laughs> this one is yours? Yes, I'll take- This one's mine? It's okay, I'll take this one, I'll take one for the team. Look, it's already thickening up. That's why I love you, Thaf. You can have the better one. Ew. Mm. <laughs> It's okay, Seth. You, you're sassy and you're sometimes cute, so you can have the better one. Okay, so we have a medium banana, and bananas are good for you, but they can be higher in calories. So we split usually a medium banana. So I'm just gonna slice this up and give half to me and half to that sassy thing behind the camera. <laughs> the one who loves his wife so much, he'll give her the crappy PB2. <laughs> never, never angrily cut a banana. <laughs> You'll just cut it with a little bit of slice. Oh, pizzazz and finesse. Slice it like butter. Slicing through the city. And that's a little bit mushy. So, sass, you can have that, Kyle sass. 
All right, and away we go. Whoa, oh. nice. Wow, look at that flip action. That golden, priceless American, uh, I don't know what I would say. Oh, <laughs> Canadian yeah. pancake. And Nicole <laughs> just poured out that first round of PB and me. <laughs> She's gonna remake one for herself or for me. Why did you tell them that? Because they can clearly see it's watery. But I could have said it's magic. So the life Sorry. lesson, the learning point here, which I always mess this up too, add water slowly to the powdered peanut butter. You're exposing me. You're exposing me. These are looking feisty as hell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a saying. It is now. <laughs> oh, look at how thick they are. And they're so hearty and delicious. I love these for that reason, thick. Yeah, and they really last long in your stomach, fill you up, and satisfy you. And they're thick and feisty as hell. Feisty as hell. All right, this is what it looks like. Look, at it makes big bahubas, six big bahubas. And you could probably, if you want, make smaller, but I like them big like that because they fill me up. And a serving is two, so we're gonna take two behemas. Let's take uh, the really nice, how about that one for thumbnail action, you think? Sure. Okay, we'll put a little cute like that. And then you take some couple bacons. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna put some PB2 on top of the pancakes. Round two turned out much better, by the way. <laughs> And then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of applesauce and I just like drizzle, you know, half a tablespoon on one and half a tablespoon on the other. And any leftovers I put in containers like this, like if I made extra bacon for the week, I would just fold them up and put them in here and put two pancakes in there and then you've, you can freeze them and thaw them out overnight in the fridge. And I get those containers from Walmart. I like the dividers. And then of course we're gonna top it with some nans. Now, of course, for thumbnail action, you can just do a couple so it looks pretty. And then I'll just do a little drizz of syrup. And this is the uh, Walden Farms pancake syrup. And that is it. And then, of course, you gotta do drizzle action like real nice and cute and beautiful. Floop it on, floop it on, guys. She wins, she scores, she did it. Oh, oh <laughs> I can't wait to eat this breakfast of all glory for dinner. Wow, so you can do this prep for breakfast or you can do what we do and eat it for dinner. We loved it on our weight loss journey and I can't wait to eat it again. And if you guys like this and you wanna see more of what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides in the links down below. Exact meals, exact portions, the family friendly recipes like this, it's all in there. Check it out if you want. Watch these videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get more shake and tell you bacon. Whoa. Ooh. Love ya. Peace. <sighs> <laughs> See you guys. Bye guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.